Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Jam. We are here with Miss Rainy Moon and our adorable Sunny Peach at a very interesting party. This is the giant chemistry zone and I've never been here before and I'm getting so many ideas for things that we could set up inside of our schoolhouse. I'm getting so many ideas for things I could do in zoo crafting. This is gonna be, oh look at us, we can go up here. Look at that, that even has like a little spout so you can pour something out. I wonder what kind of potion material this is and the little periodic table of elements back there. Oh, that's adorable. I could get so many things and we could set up science classes in our treehouse. Oh, Sunny Peach, that would be so cool. I actually spent a little bit of time looking up how and why fireflies light up their little light butts. If you guys happen to know of fireflies and the way that they have that little bioluminescent light butt that they do, uh, I actually was inspired to do a bit of research about those guys because of popping into this giant chemistry lab. But this is so cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these must be like the great scientist of the past. Oh, that's so fun. And there's all sorts of little phantoms stuck inside of little jars. That gives me some pretty fun ideas for something I could do in zoo crafting, sticking like different different specimens inside of different colored jars. That's pretty fun. All right, and then we're gonna hop over here and see what they sell because I'm starting to learn that all of these different parties and special events that you have, you can buy special unique items that are only available in those places. So. What can we get from here? Let's see, laboratory sign, coat rack. Oh, I could start getting some of these things so you guys could have like science classes in our classroom. That would be so fun. Beakers, chemistry tables, science experiments, test tubes. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. I wonder if there's actually, let me check over here. Can I shop for any clothes? I wonder if there's actually like any, oh, look at that, a little seashell bracelet. Any lab coats and things. It would be fun to be able to like set up. Ah, oh, too bad you can't just like make lab coats available to wear in your den. Like when people visit, they could put on certain clothes for your den. Beehive hair. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's funny, but I like the beehive hat a little bit better. Oh my goodness, cool hair, turtle shell, a frog hat. Oh. <laughs> A bright idea hat for like having that eureka moment inside of the chemistry lab. That would be pretty hilarious. And then I think actually these rare safari boots, they're the special item of the day. So uh, it is a Monday. So there's rare item Monday released on every Monday. And so the rare safari boots are the thing. I guess I have enough for them. They're only available today. So I'll go ahead and buy those. But I'm going to have to go ahead and get more money because I definitely are oh, a little backpack so people could wear backpacks into our little schoolhouse. That would be so cute cute. That would be just so much fun. Oh, yeah, you can definitely get into just having fun, making sure you're like properly dressed for special events. Oh my goodness. I would have way too much fun with that, but let's go ahead and take those off. I actually had put on the rare gloves and the infinity necklace so that we can say we're like doing work inside of the laboratory here. I don't think I can afford anything just yet. I would want the chemistry table. Maybe we'll go do something to earn enough money to take care of the chemistry table and set that up in our schoolhouse. But let's pop over to the schoolhouse, by the way which is still a little bit a little bit chaotic. I'm still trying to figure out, so many people have gifted me so many things and I'm still trying to figure out like how to decorate with them. We have a raccoon plushie now. I got the elegant hanging rug. Uh, I did get the paradise window when we went to the birds of paradise party. <gasps> Look at this, we have a hippo pond too. I didn't even realize we got another pond. Ah, person, hello. And I actually have the den locked right now, but everybody who's my buddy can sneak in right now. And apparently a lot more people are home from school than I thought. <gasps> and a little hot cocoa machine, how fun. Oh my gosh, let me, let me go ahead and hop on up. Because a hot cocoa machine, that's what I was saying would be really fun to be able to flip through the news by grabbing like a cup of cocoa. So I wonder, can I tuck this up here? Our little paradise window to open up the area. Let me put down this little hot cocoa machine. Can I turn it? Or is it just gonna be like this giant, this giant behemoth? And then I guess I could put the little fridge in the back, trying to make it so that you guys can have some hot cocoa up in our classroom. Can you get hot cocoa from it? <gasps> you can! Oh, thank you so much to the amazing person who has given me this because now we can say we have our little hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> 
I love that. And now I've got a cup of hot chocolate that I can make and sit in my chair in my teacher's desk once we get a teacher's desk set up. And then every time we up they update the news, we'll come and read the news while sipping my hot chocolate. Thank you so much to whoever sent that because that is A++ amazing. Now people can come over and hopefully everyone can enjoy a nice cup of hot chocolate and some of our pie. So that is just so fun. And then we've, oh, look at that, Commander Cotton Cloud. I hope you and your snake enjoy. That is just so cute. And then Pirate Berry is very, very happy hanging out in her little hamster corner. So things are going pretty well here. Okay, I'm going to pop back over. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I need just a little bit more money. So where should we go, my friends, in order to collect up a bit of money? Maybe to the trivia. Let's go do some trivia for just a second because I'm pretty darn good at trivia and we'll see... There we go. We'll see how this goes. But sometimes the trivia thing glitches out on me. So we'll see how we do. Lions live in prides. Huzzah. I want enough to get a chemistry table. Which of these is the biggest? A tarantula hawk. Ooh. Uh, sometimes ants have wings. All right. We'll see if we can grab a couple hundred. And then a uh, dinosaur is like terrible lizard. That's what that means. The color of a butterfly's wings comes from the overlapping scales that are very, very tiny on it. Pelicans use their throats to catch fish and also eat other birds. I have seen that happen before. Uh, and then have long forked tongues. No, tails. Ah, I get that one wrong every time. Uh, let's see, eight feet is how far mushroom spores can shoot into the air. Uh, let's see, and it is not, it's not, it's, I knew that was mercury and I couldn't change my mind for some reason. No sound can be heard in space. And then the name of these, the sea canary. Uh, that's the blue well, because they make a lot of noise. There we go. Uh, the year, oh, wow, the first photograph was a lot earlier than I thought. Baby frogs are born with tails, because they're tadpoles. How much should I get from that? 20 gems! Wait, where am I? 10 gems? That's all you get? What? What? Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. I'm good, I'm good. See, 10 gems is not enough. 10 gems does not enough money make. And then let me go ahead and jump over because I really want to hurry and snag. Now, okay, we'll do falling phantoms because everyone tells me, do this one, do this one. It makes tons of money. So we'll do falling phantoms and then I can make myself happy by teaching you guys a little bit. What? I am not. <laughs> I am controlling. Uh, somehow I've become a wolf. <laughs> somehow I've become a wolf, you guys. I thought Miss Rainy Moon is there, but somehow I'm a wolf instead. Oh, I really hope the game didn't glitch, but we'll figure it out. But I love the chemistry look of everything. Okay, we're gonna dodge these guys. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, almost got hit there, but we're okay. But yeah, I love the chemistry set and I actually really did love doing my chemistry classes in high school But I was always intimidated by the math. So I don't think I ever I ever did as well as I hoped I could have But let me dodge these ah, It's really hard to dodge phantoms and try to educate you guys at the same time about bioluminescence and run for it <laughs> bioluminescence in fireflies Okay but I looked it up because I was curious when I went into the chemistry lab. Oh boy. Oh, yep, there we go. That is actually a lot of gems. You guys are right. That was quite a few gems. Am I still a wolf? I am still a wolf for some reason. But we're not going to question it. We're not going to question it and we're just going to go ahead and snag the gems. So that I can go get the chemistry set and we can set up a little chemistry classroom. But actually, I mean, have you guys ever done science experiments with chemistry like mm, how do I explain it? chemistry science experiments like have you ever grown crystals have you ever put a mintos into soda and like watched it explode uh, what's the funnest science experiment I've ever done I did a lot of really cool science experiments in university that had to do with um, like oxidation of different metals so that was actually something that my professor specialized in so he liked to take all sorts of the fancy metals oh dear Oh, me oh my. Oh gosh. But he liked to take a whole bunch of the fancy metals that we were allowed to have access to in my class. And we would we would oxidize them. We would expose them to different chemicals and look at their rates of decay. It was pretty interesting. But as far as fireflies go, all right, well, we're almost done. Don't worry, guys. We're going to go and snag our chemistry set and open up some mail in a second. But as far as fireflies go... I actually learned that uh, the little light on the back of a firefly's butt, the light butt, which is why I tend to call them light butt bugs sometimes. 
<laughs> but that is bioluminescence and it is a result of cold light. So they don't light up, they don't get hot the way like a light bulb does because then their little body would not be able to handle it. But when you have any sort of energy exchange, usually you have a little bit of heat involved in that energy exchange, but they have a very cold light, so it doesn't make them hot. It just sort of, uh, run for it. Run for it, grab those gems. Uh, I can't teach and run from phantoms at the same time. It's very difficult, but they have a cold light, so they do not get hot. It's very low heat when they have their little bioluminescent rumps light up. And the way, ah, oh, no. Uh, all right, we're almost done. I, wow, this really is a great way to earn gems. <laughs> and it's kind of a fun way to pass the time too, but we're almost done, we're almost done. We'll go get those chemistry sets and anything else that we can. It's kind of fun thinking, well, actually, how does it make any sense to dodge phantoms? It makes sense to sort stuff in the sorting game and be like, yeah, I'm helping out, I have a job, but I don't, I don't know how it makes sense to make money running for my life back and forth from phantoms. Maybe I'm collecting like all of the treasure. Ah, oh, no lag. All of the treasure that gets left behind from people fleeing the abandoned. Ah, oh, see, it started lagging out, but we're okay. There we go. We'll go ahead and get out. Oh, yay, we got a new little trophy. <gasps> Look at how much money we got. What? That is so much money. All right, back to the chemistry area. So I can snag some things while they're still for sale. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, that's so much more money. I'm so happy. I can get a chemistry table now. <gasps> that's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I kind of want to go back and get another get another chemistry table and maybe some science experiments. And anything else for you guys? Maybe the lab coat rack. Let's get one lab coat rack. Uh, let's get the white lab coats actually instead of the blue ones. There we go. And then the chemistry table only comes in one color, so we need 650. Uh, hello person, we're gonna go get, we're gonna go get just a few more coins and then we can set up a science class. Oh, I'm actually ridiculously excited about being able to do that with you guys. Also, I'm not a bunny again. Now I'm like a tiger. I am, I, that's really funny that the game keeps kind of changing what I am. Oh no, and it lagged out. Sorry about that. All right, we'll see if we can, now I'm a monkey? Oh, I'm not gonna ask questions anymore. Now I'm a monkey with a heart in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> anyway, bioluminescent light butt bug butts. Um, and yeah, it's a cold light, but what really fascinated me when I looked it up today to try to find out some cool facts to share with you guys is that the way they're able to activate that light, it's not like they have a little timer inside of them. They, they put oxygen into some special organs that send the oxygen into the light chamber. And when the oxygen interacts with the chemicals they keep in that light organ, which is the thing that glows, that is when the light but bugs, the lightning bugs in other words, have their rump glow is when the oxygen is exposed to the interior of the lag, to the interior of that um, light organ. And I thought that was really cool. So it's kind of like they take a deep breath to really, really simplify things. The lightning bugs are taking a deep breath and that is how, oh, got those gemstones. And that's how they're lighting their rump up and making it, oh, I couldn't move. It's starting to lag out just a teensy bit. So, all right, we're almost done. And then we can go grab that chemistry set and decorate. And so today can be chemistry day in the inside of our schoolhouse. And you guys can enjoy chemistry and talk about light butt bugs if you want. I don't know if you're allowed to say the word butt. So I apologize if you're not. Uh, I personally, I light rump bugs. I guess I could say that. Yeah, I'm a bunny. I just realized I'm a bunny again. But yeah, so there you go. Now I've rambled too long. I, it's really hard to teach, run, talk. And, and dodge phantoms all at the same time. So we're just gonna focus on making a fun little chemistry lab now for you guys. And I really hope you have more confidence than I did with trying to learn chemistry in school because I got really intimidated. It looked so hard that I wouldn't really try. And looking back, I really think I missed out on some pretty awesome experiments. And I missed out on some pretty awesome just like life experiences if I just hadn't been quite so scared and intimidated. And I'm gonna get a hit. I got hit. Fooey. But yeah, if I hadn't been quite so intimidated by chemistry, then I probably could have done so many more experiments. So I hope you guys can be comfortable with chemistry and safe. I think, you know what? I know why I was so nervous about chemistry now that I'm looking back to my years in middle school and high school, because it looked so dangerous. 
<laughs> because there was always that shower in the corner of the room and the teachers were always like panicked and you had to sign like so many papers just to do like one little experiment with baking soda that said that you would keep your goggles on and that you knew how to pull the emergency shower in case of fire or in case you like spilled some sort of dangerous chemical on yourself. I think that that is very, 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 very important because safety first, sure. But I think it actually made me like scared of doing stuff because I was so worried I'd get in trouble or I would do it wrong or I would have to be like the kid who has to pull the shower because I spilled some sort of chemical on myself. <laughs> so looking back, I can see why I was so nervous. Okay, I got distracted again. All right, how many do I have? Do I have enough? <gasps> I have just enough! Huzzah! All right, we're gonna grab another chemistry table. 25th den item! Woo! I didn't even know that was an achievement. And we have some science experiments, but we've we've fussed around enough, and now I'm totally broke. We've fussed around enough with that. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the den. We're gonna go all the way up to the schoolhouse. And we're gonna rearrange some things so that you guys will be able to do a bit of schooling. So I'm actually gonna take down my big old teacher's desk and set things up so you guys can focus on... A chemistry class. So there we go. We're, we're getting this all going so you guys can focus on having a nice little chemistry chemistry lesson. There we go. And then we're going to move this over here. Pardon me. Snowflake Arctic Rose. There we go. And then we'll get the little lamp to the side. Kind of put these items against the wall. So now we're going to have chemistry class today. And I hope you guys will enjoy. We have a coffee maker upstairs. There. Oh yeah, we have this. A new masterpiece that somebody has given us. So I'm going to take this down. And we're going to put up this masterpiece. Wow, that is so cool looking. Oh, that's awesome. And thank you, friend who's not able to get on right now but says hi. And then is there anything else over here that I can put out? There's so many things you guys have sent. It is so amazing. I guess I could put some plushies out, but we're not a preschool. We're now a chemistry school. So there we go. All right. Chemistry class is in session. I really hope I can find some sort of lab coats to work with in the future. That would be really fun. Ah, but there's that. And let's go ahead and flip through some mail really quickly. I can't believe how much stuff there is to do every day. It gets, it gets very exciting to just try all sorts of new things. What happened to my eyes? Oh my goodness, my eyes changed. That is not, here, we're gonna, we're gonna change my eyes. Oh my gosh, my eyes are stuck. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna change my eyes and hope that they- Oh, my eyes are stuck again! <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, apparently I'm wide-eyed. Wide-eyed and bushy-tailed for the chemistry setup. So we have, uh, chemistry class is in session. Enjoy. My eyes won't change. Like, they're stuck. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are stuck. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, they won't change for some reason. <laughs> That's just really funny. But yeah, we've got a little chemistry class set up. Pirate Berry is happy. So let's open up a, few, a bit of mail. And I promise next time we won't spend the entire time talking about light bulb bugs. I just got really excited. All right. Flying squirrel, fancy wolf drawing. Oh, I love that one. Thank you. And then what do we have here? Angel wings. What? Mechanical angel wings. That's adorable. Thank you. And miniature Pomeranian. <gasps> A beehive. I can't wait to see that set up for our wonderful hunt or sunny peach. Thank you so much, miniature Pomeranian. Pumpkin, pum or pumpkin. Oh my gosh. There's Warrior Cats fan art. <gasps> That's going up on the wall right now. Painted pumpkin. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you're a giant. Look at her. She's a giant penguin. That's so cute. Can I pop into her den really quick? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh goodness gracious. There's so many things. Oh, there's different music playing here. I need to get some music up and going. Oh, look, I can get a coffee. <laughs> there's so much food. Good gravy. Golly gosh, there's so much food. Oh my goodness. Man. Yeah, I can't wait to start decking our stuff out a little bit more because this is this is really humbling to see someone who has really gone out of their way to make such amazing decorations. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, is that can you actually like Oh! <gasps> you can actually play Wait, what? Oh my gosh, painted up Wait, 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 wait. Is this like an actual Can I get frog things from this? Is this an actual plushie game? Almost the server's like, help. Oh, I have no gems. <laughs> I don't even have five gems to my name anymore. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. And there was a big egg nest. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's open up a couple more and then we're gonna put up the, the new decorations. And I'm trying to go from the bottom up because you guys have requested that. All right, <gasps> a head flower. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And then G Pink Girl, a camera. I wanted that camera so that we can go and take pictures and do all sorts of fun things looking looking around the world. Okay, I'm just gonna have to dive in. And then, oh my gosh, little tiny tigers, thank you! A wheelbarrow <laughs> lantern. I'm gonna have so many things to decorate. Meow the cat is 70, 90. Oh, safari boots! I just bought some safari boots, but these are like all white safari boots. They're even better! I just need to save my money on working and upgrading our classroom, don't I? The Shadow Wolf Pup, a flower amulet that is absolutely gorgeous. Robbie 2016. Daisy plants. This is, this is fantastic. I'm gonna put these up in our classroom. And then Caitlin 307, a rare flower crown that's made out of green flowers. <gasps> oh my gosh. And then Robbie 2016, pig TV. <laughs> and then the shadow wolf pup. Oh my gosh, rare flower crowns. I am so excited. I am a member, don't worry. Oh my gosh, Mira Waterfall from the cute 515. 1125. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to make our dens look amazing. And I cannot wait to share all of it with you guys. <laughs> so many rare flower crowns. Thank you, BJS222. And then Woofa Forever has sent a waterfall sprinkler. Oh, that's so perfect for a garden. I am so excited. Ladybug Fairy, a flower bracelet, and music. This is music for our den for our Mount Shiver. And that's 17698. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And then let's see. BJS222, a butterfly hair bow. I'm I'm not even gonna be able to pick like what to wear first. And then Wolf24816, a flower amulet of glory. You guys, I'm gonna have just like a pumpkin planter. Oh my gosh, Star of Nights, thank you. I'm gonna have flowers all over the place. TM and T1810. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my Halloween antlers. Those are totally my Halloween antlers. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Star of Nights, a large planter. Oh my gosh. I, I can't even, I can't even. Yay, girl. Eight rare shutter shades. Stars of Night, rose garland. Oh my gosh. Stars of Night. Cinnamon. Oh my gosh. The ice garden. Oh. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna have to buy our new area. Then 1769.8, a rare, oh my gosh, rare custom top hat. I think that was a rare item from the other day. And then Stars of Night has sent even more, a scented candle. You're kidding me. Firefox 44, Maple Leaf Rug. You guys are so amazing. The Ocelot Girl. A sea sh the seashell bracelet! I was just saying how beautiful it was not a little bit ago. Oh my gosh, and there's still more. You're kidding me. I feel so freaking spoiled. This is just, ah. Uh, Jolteon, the 999. Uh, <gasps> that's going in the classroom right now. That is so going in the classroom. Koofy, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That fireplace. Oh my gosh, queen. Up poetry. Do you guys know how much I love baboa trees? And real facts, my family actually sets up a pine tree and covers it in Christmas lights every year for Christmas. So I'm I'm a little I'm I'm drowning in presents right now. I feel super spoiled and overwhelmed and humbled, and I have no idea where to even start putting all of this stuff. But I'm totally gonna find somewhere. Margo Molly one, a llama plushie of adorableness. Oh my gosh, iPad 909 has sent a Chinese evergreen plant. And then Cat Jammer, let's see, 58303 Clover Trees. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna have so much fun planting these things. Queen 19, oh my gosh, a lasso. You're kidding. Oh my gosh. And okay, we're almost, we're almost caught up with this little chunk. Cute Girl has sent in, that's really cute to design her skirt. Oh my gosh, and then cute. So we have cute girl, and then we have just cute. Has a diamond anklet. You're kidding. Oh, we need to make a warrior character. That's what we need to do. And then also from cute is a beta TV. Okay, I think a beta is like a really rare thing. So I'm going to be very, very, very careful with that. Thank you guys so much. Holy moly days. I don't even know where to begin with all of this and like putting it out. And I mean, look at that scented candle. A leaf scented candle? That's just too cool. I have no idea where I'm even going to start decorating with half of this stuff because it's just too cool. 
<laughs> there's just so much. There's just so, so, so much. I think I might put a whole bunch of the plants down here for now. And we can just like put all of the, the little decor plants sort of in this spot since they won't fit in with our chemistry classroom at the moment. There's just so many. It's so cute. There we go. And then we'll put a little planter over here. And then people can come and they can sit down and they can enjoy. There we go. They can enjoy just relaxing <laughs> and unwinding. Oh my gosh, right next to our little, our little entryway right here. And can I put some rose garlands right there? And then let's see, beehive. Oh, and our masterpiece. I need to put our masterpiece up. Okay, and then here's some mushrooms too. Can I put the mushrooms over here? Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna tuck the mushrooms kind of back there a little bit. There we go. Ah, that's so cute. I can't believe how amazing everybody is. This is just so much stuff. Oh my gosh. And now we've got our little, ah, it's getting a little laggy because we've got, we've got people coming in. But now we've got our little chemistry class. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. And let me go ahead and kind of move things around so we can show off more of our fan art. So we'll put the window over here. And then we have, there we go, moss leaf fan art. Oh, look at that. Painted pumpkin. Thank you so much. This is this is fantastic. So I'm really happy with this. I really like our little chemistry classroom. I hope you guys will enjoy it and learn from it. I'm sorry I rambled so much. Ah, thank you, little Sunny Paw, for feeding the hamster. Thank you very much. So everybody is taking good care of our little pirate berry. One day we'll find her a new home and like rotate the kind of classroom hamsters we have. And next time I think we will definitely be going through and we will be buying the bigger den because I need somewhere to show off all of the amazing stuff you guys have sent. I really. Want Want to make sure we have a nice art gallery. I need to show off more of the stuff that you guys have given me because this is so much cool stuff. And I really hope you guys enjoy the little chemistry classroom. That's really fun. I will be checking out for the parties. Now there's a dance bash going on and the paradise party happens in like three minutes. So we'll be doing adventures and checking everything out and trying because I'm so desperate to make sure that we provide a little bit of education into our series because that's what the pixel biology channel is all about. Trying that too. Oh, and we didn't even G pink girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is just fantastic. So yeah, we'll be trying to teach you guys a little bit too. So I'm I'm pretty happy about this and I love this and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.